Hello and today I'm going to show you how to build this super awesome working Lego vending machine that you can use to dispense drinks and snacks at the push of a button. First let's get started with an overview of the design. To use the vending machine you can begin by inserting a coin into the coin slot at the front and then you can press this grey button to dispense your drink which in this case is a red soda. You can repeat this as many times as you like and each time you press the button the next drink drops down ready to be dispensed. Once the vending machine is empty you can simply take the roof off to restock it and refill it with a variety of drink cans of your choice. And this means that just like a real life vending machine you can always see how many products are left in stock by taking a look through the window. This design can also be easily modified to accommodate other types of products like small snacks or packets of toys which I've represented using a variety of printed 1x1 tiles and every time you use it the next snack drops down into place to automatically reload the inventory. All of this is built into a 3x5 stud base so this is possibly one of the smallest functional Lego vending machines ever made. And the best part is it only uses a handful of Technic pieces so you likely already have everything you need to make one. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to build it and I'll explain more about how the mechanism actually works. Both vending machines use the same basic construction so no matter which version you build you'll need all of these pieces. If you want to build the drinks vending machine you'll also need these additional pieces or if you want to build the snack vending machine you'll need these additional pieces instead. But first let's take a look at how to build the main vending machine cabinet which is the same for both designs. And we'll start by building a simple wall using a couple of plates with some modified bricks with the studs on the side. This is a very simple construction so I won't spend too long explaining what's going on here. But as you can see you just want to build that up until you've reached about this height in line with this second modified brick and then you can attach a couple of plates on the top along with one of these small 1x1 brackets and a 1x3 tile to smooth that off like this. You can also take one of these 1x2 Technic axles and slot that through that brick so that's just in line at the back there and with all of this in place we can begin on a very simple studs not on top construction using these modified plates just like this on this side along with a 1x3 plate over here and a 1x1 plate next to that and we can finish that off with another one of these modified 1x4 plates and a 1x2 plate just like this and we can put that to one side for the time being because next we're going to build the dispensing mechanism which will use another 1x3 tile, a 1x1 brick along with a 1x1 brick with this stud on the side and a 1x1 tile just on the end. And what you can do with this small assembly is basically just slide it through that 1x1 plate gap like that. So you'll see that will act as the button that will allow you to push your drinks out and to get it to automatically return to the front I'm using this rubberized Technic lift arm piece which works great that just slides in there and you can see that's what gives you that springy automatic return functionality when you press the button inwards. Next up we'll build another small sub assembly using a 2x2 plate, a 1x4 tile and a couple of 1x2 plates just underneath like this and this will go just over the top here and you can see that will form the coin slot and that will create a small enclosed area where the coins can drop into and if you want to get them out you can just tip the machine upside down and access your coins through there. Then one more small sub assembly 
this time using a 1x6 tile and a couple of these 2x2 brackets along with a stack of 1x1 bricks on end and this will simply clip over the back of the vending machine just onto that stud over there and here's where the construction will vary depending on which version you want to build so if you're going for the drinks vending machine you can start by lining the back of these 2x2 brackets with these grill tiles which will add a bit of decoration and space that out nicely then you can also clip these 2x2 palisade bricks underneath and the reason you'll need these is because when the drink falls down after you press the button inwards you'll see it actually rests in between those bricks in the groove in the middle and then that stops it from straight away rolling away before you release the button and then finally the last difference with the drinks machine version is it will use these slightly newer style 2x2 window pieces so they can just clip on the front like this and then you can secure all of that in place with a 2x6 tile and two 2x3 two tiles on the top and that's all you'll need to make the drinks vending machine which is now ready to refill and dispense your drinks to build the snacks vending machine this will have a few slight differences so first of all instead of those grill tiles we'll fill the back up with a bunch of 1x2 jumper plates and this will allow you to clip this short 1x4 fence piece in the middle which will give you a small area where your snacks can slide down then you can also use some regular 1x2 bricks since you won't need that curved groove in the middle to catch the drinks and the last difference with the snacks machine design is you actually need to use these slightly older style window pieces which don't have those extra side supports on the corners and that's because the sides on the newer style window pieces stick out and are not totally flat so there's not quite enough space for the snacks to slide down so using these older style windows will provide a much more precise fit and with that you have your snack vending machine which is also a really smooth and reliable mechanism and to get the spacing right for your snacks you can just add a small one by one round tile behind each of the tiles and that way they'll fit perfectly inside the hopper of the vending machine let me know what your favorite vending machine was in the comments give this video a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for even more awesome lego creations if you want to build even more functional minifigure scale machines then check out my full playlist which will be linked in the description below I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.